Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Marcus. So in the last tutorial, I show you how you can perform data analysis or data science without using any coding at all. We look at the example of how to predict the stock price of Tesla at two days later, whether it will increase by 2% or any other percentage uh, up to you. So uh, we look at, look at the example of uh, how you can do the prediction without any coding at all. In, in this tutorial, I probably want to cover one more example uh, with using the same process but in this time, I'm not going to focus so much of explaining the details and I'm going to focus on the process itself to show you how you can do that really fast uh, to perform prediction without any using any coding and I'm also going to use another example which is uh, one of the famous stock called Zoom uh, we're going to extract the historical data of Zoom for investing.com and also we are going to use Nasdaq um, data for the purpose of the prediction as well and after that we are going to review of how well our model is predicting uh, whether a share price is increased will be increased by 2% at two days later or not so without further ado let's look at um, how we can do that by the way if you haven't looked at uh, our last video, feel free to visit that video of how we predict the stock price of Tesla with using uh, data mining to orange. Yeah, after that, feel free to come back to this video and then uh, follow along so that you understand the whole process. So this is the share price of Zoom in the past few months. You can see that the share price has been skyrocketed for almost 10 times I think uh, yeah so it will be really interesting to uh, try to understand whether the stock will still go higher in the next two days or in the next few months and yeah position your trade accordingly and uh, yeah if you haven't downloaded orange feel free to uh, go to orange uh, .biolab.si to download that um, yeah, I've already explained to you how you can uh, install that in your computer in the last video and then we really have to go to investing.com to register yourself and then after that uh, go ahead and uh, download the zoom data uh, historical data for the past one year from uh, 1st of september 2020 to uh, today uh, the latest data and then download the data i have also explained to you how you can download that in the last video um, yeah and the next thing that you probably want to do is to uh, go for uh, yeah go to select nesta and then also download the historical data for the past one year from 1st of september 2020 to uh, um, the latest data by the way uh, i have already uploaded um, the train data test data that you need to use in my github repository Go ahead and download that. Uh, Marcus don't want to three predict stock price without coding. Um, so let's let's look at the Excel file that I have uploaded. So basically, in this Excel file, I have combined the upper high low close volume of Zoom, and then uh, also have the high low percent change and the open close percent change, and also have I have the next start open high low close and volume and also the high low percent change and open close percent change and also I have a label column in which um, yeah in which if the closing price of two days later is higher than the closing price of today by more than two percent is going to give you one otherwise it will give you zero so for example this one if you see uh, this column you can see the closing price of today is 78.65 uh, two days later is 80.71 which is more than two percent compared to the closing price of today I'm going to get a one here so if you scroll all the way down um oops yeah you can see the last two row last two column uh, last two rows will not have any label at all because we do know what will be the closing price at the, at the next trade uh trading day but this is what we're going to predict and for the fun of this um uh, tutorial we are going to also re uh, we're going to take the last four data f as our uh, test data then we are going to predict what will be the label uh, for these four days of course we already have the label for 22nd and 23rd of September but we are going to compare it against our prediction to see how well our model is doing so um, yeah go ahead to uh, orange 
uh, data mining tool and then uh, go ahead and uh, import your train data so just pull a file and then open it and then what you need to do is to um, select your train data open and then close it the next thing that we want to do is to select columns so in the select columns you can see that uh, uh, our target variable is our label which is the variable that we want to predict so uh, we want to exclude open high low for the example and then for the rest of the features uh, we can actually use the rank function um, to see uh, how well they are contributing for the target variable so in this case i only want to have six features for our purpose of prediction um, zoom open close percent change seems like doesn't contributing so much uh, for as a um, explanatory factor or independent factor so i want to exclude zoom open close percent so go back to select columns and then exclude it all next thing that we want to do is to see the test and score but then for the moment we don't have any model to uh, see the result and i'm going to go to model and then select random forest support vector machine or probably logistic regression and then you can connect all this model to the test and score cool so wait for the calculation to complete and then if you double click it you can see that our classification accuracy uh, we, for this example we have a highest classification uh, accuracy for the digital regression followed by SVN and random forest and the next thing we want to do is to look at the confusion matrix to see how well our model is doing and then we can have a data table so in the confusion matrix uh, you can see that uh, how well our model is predicting in terms of 0 and 1 so our logistic regression is actually trying to predict all the data to be have, having a level of two, 0 which is not good because if you are trying to uh, predict zero for all the data entries um, it's basically just trying to tell you that you, uh, your share price will increase by 2% as two days later so something is wrong with the logistic regression model for this example uh, therefore we don't want to use it even though um, it has a higher classification accuracy compared to SV and a random forest so if you look at SVM, it's trying to predict um, uh, 237, uh, 0 for 237 entry and then 1 for 29 entries. But then the actual only have uh, 110 for 1 and 156 for 0. And we also have uh, the, 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 yeah, the predicted 0 and 1 to compare against the actual 0 and 1 for the random forest. So, uh, for example, if you want to see how well Render Forest uh, is doing for the for those that is predicted correctly, you just need to click Select Correct, and then in the data table, you will be able to see uh, the days which and the Random Forest is predicting correctly. Cool. So the next thing that we want to do is also bring in the tree, which is the classification tree and then you can also have can have a tree viewer to see um, how the model is trying to uh, classify into 0 and 1 based on different values uh, of the features and then the next thing that we want to do is to have a prediction so for the select columns you can let's say for this example we think that our SVM is doing better so we can select SVM and then for SVM we can select prediction we can also use our tree for the prediction and then to predict uh, we need to have a test data set and in this example we will pull in the test data set as well so from here you just select uh, your uh, zoom historical data test open it close it and then select columns so in the select columns here, we need to make sure that we use the same feature as the train data. So if you open it, you can see that we're using close, volume, volume, open, close, high, low, percent, high, low, percent. So we should exclude open, high, low, 
and zoom open close percent same as what we are doing for the training data then the next thing that you can do is to connect the select columns to the prediction and then if you open the prediction you will be able to see uh, what our model is trying to predict for a particular day so on the 22nd of September our actual level is actually 0 but both the model are actually predicting 1 which is not correct but then both of the model are actually predicting 0 uh, for 23rd of September which is correct compared to our actual label and then for the next two days our SPM is trying to predict 1 and 0 but our tree is tree trying to predict 1 and 1 so I would say most likely on next Monday um, the share price of Zoom is going to increase by 2% compared to the closing price of 24th of September yeah so you can actually play around yourself or try to uh, improve the features it, yeah if by adding in more uh, related features that may affect in fact uh, affect the share price of um, uh, zoom you may have a better classification accuracy so i hope this example really show you how fast you can uh, do a prediction of the share price or any other prediction of any other data sets without any coding at all so this orange data mining tool is really a powerful tool that you can use to perform data analysis without using any coding this is very powerful and useful for any beginner and if you like this video if you like the example that i show you feel free to uh, click the like button or if you have any other example that you want to see leave your comment below subscribe to my channel and i hope to see you in the next video